Hello Leos! This is You Versus Them for April 1st through the 15th. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys for coming. <clears throat> Please show me what Leo's past issues with this connection were. What were Leo's past issues with the connection? Page of Wands. Uh, maybe, you know, you felt like you didn't take it seriously or they didn't take it seriously, okay? Maybe they showed very little interest. Um, somebody here had very, showed very little interest in a situation, in this connection, uh, like it wasn't serious, didn't take it seriously, okay? Let's see, what were their past issues? Oh, the tower. Yeah. Um, they felt like there was nothing solid here. There was nothing to really build upon. It wasn't serious. Scorpio energy there. Hmm. What's keeping Leo from this individual? What's keeping Leo from this individual? Three of Swords. Huh. You guys are heartbroken about something here. Maybe there's some heartbreak or some disappointment that you guys share. And, um, you know, you, you really haven't had a chance to really discuss what has happened here. Or somebody else has broken your heart that you're currently trying to heal over. Hmm. What's keeping this person from Leo? Two of Wands. I don't think this person can get over whatever happened between the two of you guys. Um, there were some real hurtful things that transpired. I feel between the two of you and um, this person still thinks about whatever happened that you know broke you guys up maybe you guys felt like initially this was just a very sexual connection and this person wanted to build something with you guys but at some point realized that um, it was a no-go but there were some other things I feel transpired in the mix that this person still focuses on or is still thinking about. Okay, it's still there. What's currently going on for Leo? What's currently going on for Leo? The Queen of Swords. I feel like there's an Aquarius, maybe Libra energy that... Um, is going on for you right now currently something that you guys feel like you want to know I'm feeling like somebody here just broke up somebody here just broke up heartbroken over connection but still wanting to um, is thinking about something from the past someone from the past somebody that they have disconnected from or is divorced from here with the Queen of Swords. And you know, to me, marriage is not about a piece of paper. It's about the commitment that you guys share. So you guys do not have to be legally married, but definitely I feel like this was a relationship that um, I feel like you felt there's a significant history there okay but I'm feeling like there is not only some heartache in a current situation but there's some heartache that is still um, I feel lingering from a past situation as well what's currently going on for them what's currently going on for the other person the knight of Pentacles. somebody's coming back somebody um, I feel like is willing to revisit the past, but this person's very cautious, 
very cautious about the movements that they make. They're not willing to just jump into things, okay? Which is which is good. This person needs to really figure, you know, figure out their best moves before they commit to anything. Here. Hmm. What's influencing Leo? The lovers. Oh, yeah. See, and I was feeling there's something currently going on as something from the past. There's a choice, I feel, between two people here. There's a choice between two people here. Somebody currently feels heartbroken over a situation. But there's an interest in something from the past as well. Hmm. What's influencing the other person currently? What's influencing the other person currently? The Seven of Swords. This person is not trying to think about whatever happened before in the past. Whatever negative thing has happened before in the past. Um... This person has decided that, you know, moving forward is what's best for them. Their emotions have been taken out of it. They're strictly doing what's best for them. They are willing to revisit something from the past, whether it's like having a conversation, whether it's reconnecting, but they're definitely tr not trying to jump into things with both feet here with this Knight of Pentacles on foot. Very slow energy. Very methodical energy. Seven of Swords is a very strategic energy. Okay. They only want to do what they feel like is best for them. Or what they think is best for them. Because the Swords are thinking. Okay. Strategizing. And the Knight of, Pentacle also, Knight of Pentacles also strategizes. Okay and does not devote their time to situations haphazardly, okay? So this, this person is all about forward movement, and as I put their deck down, I see the Ten of Pentacles under there. This person only wants to be involved in something that they feel like is going to be committed in long term. Um, they're not about that sneaky energy. They're not about cheating. They're not about lying. Um, they're all about the truth, okay, and moving forward. Whoever this is. Let's see. <clears throat> What's coming in for Leo? What's coming in for Leo? The Two of Wands. You, you're going to have to decide what is it that you want to do. Who is it that you want to be with? There's a choice here. Definitely. They have the Two of Wands as well. Either, you know, they're going to continue to stay here in the past and think about, you know, what was shattered between the two of you, or they're going to move forward. Okay? Forgive, and not necessarily forget, but move on, you know? What would be the advice for Leo? What would be the advice for Leo? The Hermit. <laughs> Who is the one? Figure out who is the one looking right at the lovers there. Figure out who is the one. Who is it? And I picked up their debt. I picked up their debt. Okay. Figure out who is the one. I'm going to leave it there. And stand by your position. Okay. Because what's right for you is right for you. Nobody can tell you any different. Okay. So I'm going to use your deck for them. What would be the advice for them? What would be the advice for them? Judgment. <laughs> Decide whether or not you want to resurrect this thing. The ultimate decision is up to this person. Okay. But first and foremost... You have to choose, you know, regardless of what this person's going to do, you have to choose who you want and go for it. And then once you go for it, if it's this person, then it's up to them to decide. 
is what's best for them bringing this back resurrecting this okay what is the outcome for Leo what is the outcome for Leo the eight of cups I see you guys Okay guys, so I've had to improvise because my freaking camera shut off, but um, for now, what I was saying, through the 1st through the 15th, um, I see you guys really not addressing um, this choice, okay, between two people. I see you kind of like just letting it um, kind of linger on for a little bit, okay. It's like you're avoiding something here, is what I see. Okay. So, let's see the outcome for them. What would be the outcome for them? The outcome for them. The Five of Wands. This person's conflicted. I see them being very conflicted um, about what to do. I see you guys making a move towards this individual. Whether or not you see them as the one, maybe there's something that, um, like you're just not trying to make that decision, you know, in your head because maybe you don't feel it's like a rational thought to say, um, you know, they're the one because, you know, we fall in love with with different people sometimes throughout our life. Um, so but I do see that I see you guys kind of making your way towards this person. And I definitely get that there's some conflict over a decision regarding you guys here. There's definitely some conflict here. And I get that you guys really don't or you haven't seen eye to eye um, before in the past. But I do see you making a choice. And I do see you pursuing what it is that you really want. And it's this person. And then this decision, this pursuit, leaves this person feeling very conflicted, not really knowing what to do. Hmm. I just realized I didn't see what was coming in for them right there. Let's see what's coming in for them. What's coming in for them? Look at this. Two of Cups. <laughs> Beautiful. 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 A connection here. This is a connection here between you guys here. Two and the Eight of Cups there. You guys are coming back here. This is absolutely beautiful. Hmm. Okay, I got stuck for a second. Sorry. Beautiful. Let's see. Let's pull a Romance Angels card for you guys here. Romance Angels card for you guys here. What other messages do we have for Leo? What other messages do we have for... Okay. Let's see what this one is. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Keep that in mind when it comes to making your choice. All right, guys, so we have Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo, Cancer, Taurus, Aries, um, Aquarius is here. Gemini is here, maybe Libra. Um, I'm not sure what you guys have going on um, with someone else, maybe an Aquarius individual. 
or Gemini that you're having to make like a choice between or somebody with that type of energy, um, you know, very smart, very analytical, maybe, maybe both of them. I don't know. Only you guys know. Anyway, so that's what I have for you guys. And um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.